Shall we begin? Let's begin. Welcome, everybody, to another Create Your New Life, powered by Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. I am your host, broker, realtor, plus business coach, CEO. Coming to you every Tuesday as we talk about what's going on in the company, what's going on as it relates to the industry, um, and as we continue our talk today about social media, that's what we're doing today. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're checking us out on our YouTube channel, what's up? You know, if somebody sent you a text message and um, want to share with you the things that we have going on, tell them thank you, right? Uh, because we got a great time today. All right. So we're always looking to, um, you know, bring on individuals, bring on people into our fold. So as you're sitting here and you're listening to me, jabber, 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 or you're here with one of our real estate agents, you know, give their uh, experience as it relates to the firm and you want to learn more about it, you're going to have an opportunity, you're going to see a link, and you are going to be able to set up a, a company introduction and we can learn more about that uh, as well. So put on your seatbelt. Uh, we're continuing our 10-part series where we're looking at how to be beasts as it relates to social media so we can sit down and put our plan in place uh, so we can be more effective on that social media platform, uh, that is what we're doing today, and that's what we've been talking about. So as I begin to jump into it, uh, I always like to begin, especially since we're talking about social media, I always like to begin uh, with an opportunity for everyone to see where they can follow us. Uh, we are on YouTube. Our YouTube channel, I believe, is the best representation of who we are as a company. You're able to see our personality, our culture. Uh, you're also able to get some great information and substance as it relates to what we deliver as a real estate broker. Uh, also, our Facebook business page. That's another great place to go. Uh, once a week, I showcase information that's in our research and development uh, library, as well as we do our Mastermind Through Tough Times every Tuesday at 2.30, uh, which is very, very entertaining uh, starting to get a little bit of traction. So that's another great place to go. And then we're on, I'm on LinkedIn, Instagram, um, Twitter. I have a personal Facebook page, so you can follow me on those there, uh, places as well. So subscribe, like, follow, learn, and share. Multiple times a week, we submit information and content uh, on our social media platforms. All right, so as I said earlier, if you're listening to this and you feel like you're not in an empowering environment, you're a realtor, and you just know that there's so much more that you can pull out of yourself if you were connected to the right team, the right family, if you are grounded in the right soil, in the right environment, if you are that person that I say, schedule, click on this link, go to this link, schedule an appointment where you can learn more about the better options that we offer as a brokerage firm. I uh, highly encourage you to do that. Uh, and through our providership, the Brooks and Davis Real Estate Continuing Education Institute, through that providership, we are able to offer an hour of CE credit for our agents that take advantage of logging on and getting on uh, once a week. So make sure uh, or we like to showcase that as something of value that we offer, one of the many things of value that we offer to our agents that are a part of Brooks and Davis with us. All right, so our title for today is How to Use Social Media to Showcase with Words What You Are Passionate About. Today, we're going to be, you know, again, listening to Gary Vaynerchuk, who is our social media guru that we've been chronicling uh, over these last five episodes. This is episode number six uh, in our 10 part series. And uh, Gary's given us some great insights that uh, we can use to build our social media presence to be more effective as it relates to social media. So, you know, today we're going to be looking at graphics. We're going to be looking at text posts. We're going to be looking at how you can use words 
uh, in a very creative way to, again, command attention from individuals uh, that are following you, that are part of your audience, right? We're, we're, we've been talking about building an audience. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. In addition to um, those items, we're also going to be looking at uh, the great ways um, that you can showcase. Always, we're going to always going to look. Also, we're going to look at always giving your best in whatever you decide to do, uh, and see if you make it better. We're going to look at that as it relates to our moment in court. Um, we're going to look at a business software that our agents are utilizing to help move their business forward. And we're also going to talk about an upcoming event that's going to discuss steps realtors can take uh, to protect themselves, uh, as well as, hey, if they get sick, if you get injured, it's a way for you to even still get paid. So we're going to look at uh, some of those options as well. So all of that's going to come into play uh, in our session for today. So the quote that I have connected comes from Rachel Wolchin. Uh, Rachel Wolchin looks like she is a, uh, let's see, let's see who Rachel Wolchin is. Uh, looks like she might be an author. Let's see. Uh, looks like she's just an a, a, a inspiration, a, a, an inspiring person. Uh, she just typically, she creates websites and she just puts words of inspiration out there. Uh, so the, our quote for today comes for her, and it says, "Maturing is realizing how many things you, how many things don't require your comment." I love that. Maturing is realizing how many things don't require your comment. Sometimes you just gotta let it ride. You ain't got to make comment. And it's funny she says that because as I have a you know, children, you know, I have a, a preteen. No, no, she's a teenager, actually. I have a teenager, but I do got a couple of preteens, and they feel like they got to comment about everything. And all I'm saying is sometimes you just got to keep your comments to yourself. It makes life a whole lot better. So I can 100% relate to what Rachel is talking about. Unfortunately, especially when we're considering social media, there's a lot of people that are not preteens, that are not teenagers, that are grown A adults who are making comments about something that they might as well just live well enough alone, right? So I thought that was a great quote from Rachel today. Thank you so much. I really do agree with her. Sometimes as it relates to maturing, keep your comments to yourself. Thank you, Rachel. All right, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and spend a little bit of time in our core ideology. Uh, as a Yes, Margaret. Margaret. Margaret's waving. Hold on, Margaret. Hey. Rachel's last name is Wolchin. W-O-L-C-H-I-N. Her website is Rachel, R-A-C-L. W O L C H I N dot com. Rachel Wolchin dot com. <laughs> Check out Margaret. <laughs> All right. So, moment in core. Remember, our core ideology is made up of three elements our core goal, our core mission, and our five core values. Five core values. So, the core value that we want to showcase today is our value of always giving our best and constantly making our best better, right? So that's the core value that we want to highlight in about a minute. So the reality is, is this. You should always be coming from a place of growth, right? And if you're always coming from a place of growth, then what was your best yesterday should not be your best tomorrow, because if that is the case, you're not grown, right? And we've subscribed to, there is no such thing as stagnant in nature. Either you're growing or you're dying. One of the two. So, when it, as it relates to us and our core ideology, the, what we strive to do every day, always, siempre, is give our best. And every day, todos los días, we make our best better. 
So that's what we've subscribed to as far as our values here at Brooks and Davis. Not sometimes, not a couple of times, anything that we do. God, I wish it was something I could really instill in my children. I'm still working with them, y'all. Y'all pray for me. But everything you put your name on, you should have a sense of pride. It should bring a sense of pride. Anything you touch, whether somebody's making you do it or not, you should subscribe to the fact that it's going to be your best work, period. Anything that you do, anything that you sign your name to, right? Because the signature should mean something. Anything you sign your name to, it should be best. And then you should always be moving the needle forward and turning that best, making that best better, pushing that standard up. You should be always focusing on that. And whether that's in real estate for my realtors, our agent members, or whether that's in any area of your life, should always be pushing forward in that vein. So that's what that value is all about and why, it's, why we subscribe to it here at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Always giving our best and every day making our best better. Margaret, do you do that? Do you always give your best and you always make your best better? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Yes, when I'm putting my name on it. Yes, when you're signing your name on it. Boom. Good stuff. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into some company production. See how we're, what we're doing over here at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Now, I promise you, we're in some good spots, y'all. I heard, a, I was on a meeting today, uh, and they said that they looked at numbers year to date. They looked at, they did a comparison of June 2019 versus June 2020, and they saying his uh, citywide, there's more houses being sold today than it was last year this time. And we in the middle of a pandemic. And when I, and look, I can promise you, last June, we weren't doing this much production. So we're going to ride the wave. We're going to ride the wave. And I feel real good that we position ourselves as an organization to where we can capitalize on the wave when the market begins to move the way it's moving. So I said all that to say this. If your name is not on here, if you're not constantly putting your putting production on this board, right? You know, I should, you know, every week I see green. I'll be looking for green, right? Because green is the is new contracts, right? So we got over a million dollars of new production over a seven day period. Like that's the stuff that I'm looking for. So you guys keep cranking it out, keep pushing it out, right? Because we had, you know, hey, when stuff goes on the board, stuff also comes off the board. I think we, we probably sold a million dollars worth of production last last week. So that means people getting paid, right? That's, uh, that's a lot of money, 30,000, over $30,000 worth of commissions was paid out. So, now it's time to get in the game. If you're not already in the game, get your mind right. That's why I'm here. Professor X, one-on-one -on -one coaching is available to all of you guys. Take advantage of it. Put yourself in position to get life alignment, right? Put yourself in a position to create your game plan of how you're going to execute and how you're going to achieve your dreams in this business. That's what I'm here to do. That's what we're here to guide you through, through our coaching. Is to be put you in a position to where once you understand where real estate really fits in your life, you begin to execute and you begin to see results. And what you're looking at as it relates to this pending board, these are results. This is how we me measure it. It's not about, and it's funny, you know, I got to say it through social media, it ain't about likes, it ain't about comments, it ain't about follows, it's about, it ain't about impressions. It's about cold, hard cash that you can measure, that you can document. And that's what this pending board is about. So congratulations, uh, you know, still being dominated by my ladies. But guess what? My favorite realtor, oh, 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 they made it in the top three. You go, girl. Laquana Davis, that's my favorite. Uh, but Kendra Wheaton's number one. The, kid, the two Kendra's still holding it down, not letting nobody else break through. Uh, Kendra Wheaton, the Kendra Kaufman. And now Laquana Davis is up there in that top three spot. Congratulations, ladies. Keep pushing it out, being an inspiration to us all. Yeah. All right. So now I want to talk about uh, 
a business software that our agent members have access to uh, that really helps facilitate when it comes to the mechanical side of real estate. See, real estate is more than just, I'll say, the mechanics, which is what is which is how I used to approach it as it related to coaching and training. I would approach it from ensuring that my people understood the mechanical, the mechanics of the business. So that's your lead generation. That's your making contact. That's your sales presentations. As you know, with buyer buyer consultation property consultations. That's your, um, oh, <laughs> tripping. No worries. We have an in-studio guest, y'all. <laughs> but um, that's your lead generation. That's your, um, that's your um, consultations. That's your property showings. That's your, you know, listing marketing and getting on HAR and all that stuff. So that's all of that, right? And that's what I used to coach. That's what I used to teach until I realized when I attended a Tony Robbins, shout out to Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins conference, Unleash the Power Within, he made the statement of success is 80% psychology. And when I heard it, it just all became so clear for me. And we took off and we ran with it in looking at it from that psychological vein, right? So with that being said, we reverted from not just teaching the mechanics, but moving into creating a foundation and a base that dealt with the psychology of it as well. So I said all that to say, as a, as a lead in to our next proprietary programming, this software that we have has been the thing that our agents have used to really help them grasp and get a stronger understanding of the mechanical side of it when they actually have, you know, I call it the hustle. When they're in a part of the hustle, they're at an area of um, this, our realtor success funnel, which is what this was built out, built out on. So the software that I'm referring to is our success in real estate machine. And even through, even through um, the video thumbnail, you can see what we did was we took six key areas, and those were six and six skill sets as they related to those key areas. And we built out substance and content to assist our agents with whatever area of that transaction that they're dealing with. So if it's an area where it relates to lead generation, generating leads, leads, and more leads, then there's content that as it relates to that area. If it's, you know, going to meet a client, a buyer, and you're meeting with them, there's areas that relates to pre-qualifying. There's areas as it relates to preparing for the presentation and actually presenting the presentation. So wherever they are in between generating the lead to closing the lead, we've broken it down and we've offered support and content and resources and substance that's, that clearly focus on that area. And we packaged all of that in our success in real estate machine, right? So our agents are able to go to this link, which is what I'm going to go to. And when our agents go to this link, it gives them, it's, it's 40 lessons, doesn't cost them anything, and then it breaks down the curriculum. So all, all of the skill sets are broken down. So there's an introduction and the six skill sets. So there's actually seven areas as it relates to this software. So our agents, they log in. And this, this was voted our number one program that we offer. Uh, and I really do believe it's because of the clarity that it brings when you're working through a transaction. There's so many moving pieces in a transaction that... I mean, hey, 
<laughs> Sometimes you can get lost in the fray. So we created this as a way, if you're getting lost to the fray, getting lost in the fray, there's somewhere that you can go that can help you get back focused, get you back on track of specifically what it is that you're needing. All right, so when our agents go here, All right, so like I said, seven chapters, starts with an introduction, um, and on our, on our uh, Real to Success funnel, this introduction is more of, is more of the general resources and tools that they're going to need as it relates to the company, uh, logos, disbursement forms, things like that. You know, that's on there. Um, and then we have multiple videos. So the videos that are under introduction are all about, they're all about the beginnings or getting started in this business. So the introduction piece is, is critical so they can understand. Like the very first video is, is why this is really a pipeline business. Because real estate is what? A pipeline business. And it talks about the success in real estate machine. And, and it's just a number of, like right here, a day in the life of a licensed real estate salesperson, part one and part two. Like there's a, a plethora of content and information that our agents are able to access when they log into the success in real estate machine. And then in each one of the skill sets, there's a breakdown. Right? So skill set number one, generate leads. There are videos as it relates to to those. See, so number two, making, well, let me say videos as well as downloads because there's multiple items or tools as it relates to generating leads that our agents can download. Skill set number two, making contact with your leads. There are videos, many videos that where we talk about that. Right database management, tricks of the trade, you know, all of that our agents have access to, even examples of marketing pieces that they can send out, that they can download. So, you know, this is one of the things that we're really proud of. Like even when you click on Tricks of the Trades, and uh, it's kind of like the beginnings of a video series. This is kind of like one of our first video series is that we did with the Create Your New Life. Uh, and it talks about the different ways to generate uh, um, leads and business. So this is just an inside look. Just wanted to share an inside look, peel back the curtain, <laughs> um, peel back the curtain of some of the things that we offer at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm uh, and definitely wanted to showcase you the best thing. Like I said, it was voted the number one thing that our agents felt was valuable to them. All right. So now before we jump into our topic, for today, and we continue on this vein of social media glory, looking at the playbook of Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, we are having an upcoming event on next Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Uh, it is going to be a Zoom event. Um, we have a, a colleague of ours, Mr. Kevin Ards. He's hosting a Zoom event um, where... Um, he's going to be taking, taking you guys through a look of how to take the next steps to protect your future, right? He's also going to be talking about how, to, how prepared are you to uncover unplanned out-of-pocket costs. So how prepared are you? And then he's also going to talk about how you can get paid if you get sick or injured. So as a realtor, a lot of us, we don't have that added protection. You know, if stuff happens... You know, that's why it was important that we become, that we were essential because it ain't no sitting on the sidelines and you still getting paid. So, you know, if there's some other vehicles that you could tap into as a realtor, um, as an independent contractor to further protect yourself. I remember reading a book, uh, The Richest Man in Babylon, uh, and one of the chapters makes mention of the walls of Babylon, and it talks about how the walls were so big and massive 
uh, how they defended the city. Uh, and the correlation that the author was making was insurance, that insurance, having insurance and th insurances in place to ensure when invaders come and they try to attack your finances and the, the fruits that you compiled through your work and your efforts, when they come for you, insurance is there to help ward them off, right? So I think it's going to be a phenomenal event. Uh, like I said, Thursday, July 23rd, this is open to our agents, our affiliate members, or, and anybody that's been referred by an agent or affiliate member uh, for next Thursday, July 23rd. Um, the RSVP link is actually on the flyer. Um, it is, I'm just trying to help you guys here. And then I'll type the RSVP link for you because I know that was kind of small. It is case sensitive. RSVP link right there, bit.ly backslash RSVP underscore BDREF. Uh, and you go there, you can reserve your seat. If you got questions, call the office, shoot an email, and we'll get those, uh, we'll get those questions answered for you. Um, let's see. Yes, a little commercial. Affleck is auto insurance, right? No. Is it homeowner's interest? No. Is it duck insurance? Nope. Do they pay me money directly when I get sick or injured? Yeah. You know what? Boom. Bet you didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So, see you guys next Thursday. All right. It's that time. Y'all ready to learn about social media? Y'all ready to continue to learn about social media? Yeah! Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we are going into Dex, Dex Slides 153 to 176. We done been through 152 slides about social media. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yes, that is how many slides that we have gone through in this series. So today, and look, if you missed it, you got to go back. No worries. We record. So if you go to our YouTube channel, right, we're not going to compile the playlist until we go through all 10. But if you go to our YouTube channel, then you can see episodes 138, 139, 140, 141. Because today is 142. You can see all those and see how we, how we got into this thing from start to finish. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's jump back into it. Today we're going to be looking at item number 12 and item number 13 from Gary V's How to Do 64 Posts in a Day. Right? So he's giving great information as it relates to that. So item number 12 of how to do that is text posts, all right? So now, what, te what are text posts? Like, man, haven't we talked about posts, about text and words? Haven't we talked about all that stuff? Kind of yes, kind of no. So he's giving it a different spin. And the reality is, is that how easy is it to just use words to express what you're thinking, what you're feeling, right? It doesn't take any time and energy. So Gary's given us his idea or his take on text posts. And essentially, they're just standalone status updates, no added images, no videos, only words. Paint the picture with your words. And then he gives us an example of something that he posted on LinkedIn, right? Uh, it's not enough. It's not enough to not point fingers. You need to boost your teammates up who are struggling and show them solutions with care and kindness. And then he gives us a couple of hashtags, hashtag culture, hashtag HR. This is on his 
social this is on his Insta, this is on his LinkedIn, <laughs> excuse me. Um, and then he lets us know LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook are the platforms. Uh, he says text posts can be short quotes or statements you feel strongly about, like a tweet, or they can be longer form depending on the platform. And then he just gives us an example of a tweet that he posted. Blaming is easy. Accountability is hard. Most good things are hard. So that was, that was a tweet. So, you know, if you're anything like me, man, I have inspirations just coming out of the wazoo all the time. And it's because I'm constantly in growth mode. I'm always reading and I'm always learning and I'm always studying. And I'm not even going to say that. I'm always experiencing life. And as you experience life, and as you show up every day, and you get plugged in to what's going on, you can't help but get inspired by the greatness of just the time that we're living in, the country that we're living in. I know it seems very negative through media. I get that. And it could be that, right? But if you focus on the negative, guess what you'll be? In a negative state. And who wants to go through life in a negative state? Because just like the old yin and the yang, there's positive, there's a little bit of negative in everything that's positive, and there's a little bit of positive in everything that's negative. Right? You, there's always opportunity to find a positive. See that? That right there. I could probably post that on my social media right now. Right? Boom. Inspired. Um, so if you choose to focus on, if you choose and you decide... Hey, look, man, I don't want to be in a negative state. I want to be in a positive state. Then you focus on the positive in everything. And as that happens, you get inspired. And as you get inspired, guess what? You capture it. And you can repurpose it on your social media, like what Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk is doing. So that's what text posts are. Taking your inspiration and letting your... as it relates to the hashtag. So on LinkedIn, he hashtag culture and HR. He had in Twitter, he had hashtag company culture. And then he explains why the difference, right? He says, notice the contextual differences. He shows us that. Uh, and then he just says, he added the different hashtag on LinkedIn based on how many people are following it. So your hashtags is important as it relates to you expanding your your reach with the things that you're doing. So that's why he adjusted the hashtag on LinkedIn because of the performance. So he's studying this thing like a scientist, right? You got to study it. It's an experience. Social media is an ever an ever changing experiment, right? Uh in getting results. So then he goes into on the text post, notice how the copy is tailored to parents since Facebook has an older demographic. So then he talks about a different one that he posted on Facebook. Taking into consideration older demographic, parents. So he says, as parents, we need to be more careful and aware of what we deem as distractions for our kids. Those distractions that they are drawn to, like music or video games or art, may actually be their strength and passion that they should be learning, leaning into. So that was a quote that he gave on Facebook to the parents. Um, and then he said, also, as it relates to copy and being more contextual, shouting out the platform, which is something that was one of my takeaways from what we've been doing with Gary is, is like saying what's up to Facebook, saying what's up to LinkedIn, right? That makes it contextual to the platform as well. And then he gives us a highlight of where he did that and how he did that on Facebook. Just saying, what up, Facebook? So he gives us, you know, his performance numbers as it relates to the, the uh, text post that he gave about is not enough being 
pointing their fingers. Um, and again, this is why we're studying them because, you know, if you want to be effective on something and you find out who's the best person doing it and you study. So that's what we're doing. I ain't found nobody better than Gary Vaynerjack on social media. If you found somebody, let me know, and then we'll study him. We can do our next series on that person. Um, but, yeah, so he, so he gives us how much, what his results have been as it relates to these things. Uh, he also says you can make your copy contextual. So we talk about making it contextual based on demographic, making it contextual based on, you know, shouting out the platform. But you can also make it contextual by referencing the date you're posting on, the location you're targeting, and more. So there are other ways that you can make your posts contextual that he speaks about. Uh, and then and remember, he's keeping tally of his posts. That's another three pieces. Uh, and he says, look, it takes one to five minutes. And that's what I was saying earlier. I mean, if you ain't got to worry about videos, you ain't got to worry about editing, you ain't got to worry about graphics, overlays, you ain't got to worry about none of that as it relates to text posts because it's just words. It's just taking what inspires you, taking and valuing a moment of be beauty and painting the picture or the vision in a sentence and put it out there for your people. One to five minutes. Right? And then he says, look, don't overthink it, which we all tend to do when it, as it relates to social media, instead of just doing. Don't overthink it. You could always write something else in an hour later or the next day if your post doesn't do well. See? Look how easy it is. If the word, if the quote, if the thing ain't, it ain't giving you the results that you want, come up with something else. Boom. One to five minutes. So that's, that's how we rocking with total, I'm sorry, with number 12, text posts. All right, so now remember, look, he's doing this running tally. It's supposed to be 64 pieces is what we're getting to. All right, now he's at 38, 38 pieces of content. All right, so now we're going into, quote, graphics. Uh-oh. Yeah, we use the word graphics, but we're still talking about words. The beauty of words, taking your inspirations, taking your quotes, and then again, utilizing graphics as a way to reinforce it, right? Because before we've been talking about how we were making graphics the, the, the main course. But here is more of the words are the main course and the graphics are the side dish. All right, so this is what he talks about as it relates to quote graphics. And, you know, obviously the best platforms as it relates to quote graphics is Instagram. Right? Instagram, as well as Facebook, um, is really the best platform as it relates to these graphic quotes. Now, he says if you have design skills or a designer you're working with, you can create design versions of quotes you're passionate about. Again, these words, it's about what inspires you. It's about what you're passionate about. It's about showcasing that. Uh, uh, again, being able to... to uh, Present yourself to your audience. Boom. All right. And we're back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so quote graphics is a way to uh, take something, words that inspire you, and utilize them as an expression that you can offer to your audience is what this is all about, what we're talking about. It's too big. Damn me. Okay. All right. Oh, let's see something. Oh, minimize. Give it back to me. Boom, make it small. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got through it. Um, yeah, so quote graphics. All right, so let me share my screen back so you guys can see my screen again. All right, so design versions of quotes. And again, Instagram is going to be the platform for that. Uh, you can see you can layer it over a picture of yourself for branding. Right? Notice how he has his signature. We were talking about that earlier. Look, you're going to put your signature on it. It's got to be your best. 
So he has a signature on it there. It's just a quote, him looking down, smiling, and boom, it's a quote next to it. Very good visual representation of something that he's passionate about, a quote that he's passionate about. You like that? Margaret likes that, y'all. Very classic, very classy. And guess what? We're, we're still just talking about words, right? Um, he also says, or you could keep it even more simple with text on a white background with your logo. So one of the things that he's, you know, he's showcasing here, uh, he's, I'm unbelievably okay with not achieving my goals. I'm not okay with not trying. Simple quote, white background, black text. He's, I, uh, he's using red to intensify. And then boom, he shoots it out. Has his logo on there. Very, very classic, very clean. Um, doesn't necessarily, t I mean, if you could, as long as you have the content, it doesn't take time to make it graphically appeasing, pleasing, graphically pleasing to send out, especially on again. And guess what? A lot of the editing you can utilize within the social media platform. Like a lot of the editing that he's, that he's able to do, you're able to utilize Instagram's editing functionality to send the stuff out. Okay, uh, and if not Instagram, look, there are plenty of softwares that'll, that, that'll, that you can download, apps that you can download on your phone that'll do editing that doesn't cost anything. All right, so now he's giving some special hacks, which I think he's reiterating what I just said. There are a ton of free stock sites, and stock is like a stock photo, just like a random photo. Uh, there are free stock sites that you can use if you don't have your own pictures Unsplash, Free Pick, um, I think they have one called Pick Monkey. Um, are, these are all places that you can go. Really, you can just Google free stock images, and it's going to give you a host of um, companies uh, or websites you can go to, and you can actually get pictures that you could put your quotes in, again, to make them more graphically appealing. So you don't necessarily have to become an expert photographer and go out to the wilderness and, and capture the perfect moment. <laughs> you, you may be able to see your perfect moment in a stock image that's already, uh, that someone's already taken. So that's what that's about. All right, so now he gives his performance as it relates to Instagram and Facebook. Uh, and like I said before, you know, Instagram, Facebook, um, are probably going to be the best places to do this type of imagery. Um, uh, yeah, that's a lot of likes. 156,000 likes. 315,000 views. Uh, and then here's another one that he did on LinkedIn. And again, these are just images and then overlays of the image, right? And again, 700,000 views on LinkedIn for uh, this graphic quote that he's presented. Uh, and again, platforms you can use it for, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, that's another four pieces. Uh, now he says the time it takes to make between eight, <laughs> I don't know how he's coming up with these times though, but eight and 47 minutes, like whoop, what would require 47 minutes as it relates? Maybe that's the amount of time it took for him to come up with the quote, right? Because I just can't imagine it taking 47 minutes to get a picture. Now, he said it's subjective, but remember, speed is greater than overthinking. Don't overthink. And that's a common theme that we continue to see uh, throughout our study of Gary Vaynerchuk is don't overthink this stuff, Right? It's just all you're doing is you're pushing out who you are, period. You don't have to make these major adjustions. I promise you, God calls us individuals for a reason. We are all unique. Be you. <laughs> I promise you, there's nobody out there that can be you better than you. And also, I promise you that you are entertaining. I promise you there are people out there that are interested in you. You're just not showcasing who you are. And the beauty of social media is, is that it allows that. It allows us to showcase who we are to people who are interested in us. 
and and you can have a blast doing it. You can enjoy it. The engagement, right? You know, people tend to be, tend to think, oh, social media, the digital world. You know, where it's it's keeping us so distant and so separate. But you don't have to be in the same room with somebody to connect. <laughs> Real talk, like you can connect if you want to connect with people. And you can connect with people on a deep, deep, deep level without having to be in the same room, without having to be on the phone, right? So if used the right way, this virtual life is not the end-all, be-all, right? And even if, you know, if tomorrow the world just opened back up and COVID-19 just miraculously disappeared, tomorrow, you still should not only rely on connecting with the world through face-to-face -face interaction because guess what? Something that we found, you have way more reach when you incorporate digital into what you do, especially as it relates to your business. You have, you're able to reach, you're able to impact, you're able to touch so much more people than through the limitations of being person to per being in place, being in the same space together. So again, it's about how you look at it. It's about how you frame your focus. Matter of fact, that may be my topic for my Monday my, my Monday live on Monday. I think I might have just got another one. <laughs> and it correlates with our mastermind on through tough times on today. So uh, that's just a little nugget right there. I may I make I may repurpose next Monday. <laughs> All right, so those are the two. So that's item number 12, item number 13 for today uh, on our uh, Create Your New Life. So now look, some of the things that we've, that we've talked about already as it relates to this series, you don't have to wait till you do all 10 videos to begin, execute, and implement. We've already given 13, he's given us 13 things that you can incorporate into your social media plan immediately, right? And guess what? Everybody should have at least sat down and put together a social media strategy. Everybody has. Everybody should have at least gotten their plan on paper whether you're executing it or not, as it, you know, whether it's broke down to the specifics of what actual content, when it's going to be posted, if you haven't begun executing it, that's one thing. But if you haven't written it down, then that's on you, right? There's nothing to it but to do it. If you want different results and if you want different outcomes, then you got to do different things that, than what you've been doing in the past. You're going to have to change it up. You're going to have to switch it up. So that's my, I implore you, I beseech ye brethren, do your social media plan. Begin executing it on a consistent basis. Begin tracking and measuring your performance and watch you grow and watch you enhance and, and watch how it impacts Ultimately, it'll impact your bottom line and the amount of business that you're able to do as a realtor. No longer can you say that you don't know. That's why we took the time to go through this thing. Because once it's all said and done, no longer can any of us say we don't know social media. We don't know how to do social media. We can't say we don't know it no more. It's just a matter of if, we're, if you're doing it or not. It's not about what you know. My man's broken it down. He's the best at it. And he's given us insight into his, his strategy. All you got to do is just take what he's done, modify it according to your special sauce, your uniqueness, who you are as a person, as an individual, and then you present it back to the world and allow us all to enjoy it. Because we, we want to enjoy it. That's all it is. It's that simple. Not difficult. And you have fun doing it. All right. Perfect. So that's what we that's what we are today. Uh, next session, um, we got three more things we're going to be looking at. Uh, item number fourteen is dealing with stories. Item number fifteen, community centric posts, and item number sixteen, commentaries. 
So we're coming. We're, we're on the other side now. You know, that'll be episode seven. We'll only have four episodes left uh, after today. So but the great thing is we recorded them. You can constantly go back to them on YouTube and you can begin implementing them in your every day. All right. So before we wrap it up, I always like to end with reminding you all um, the things that our agents are able to access as it relates to being connected to Brooks and Davis. Definitely one of them is the continuing education credit that they're able to receive as they participate in our Create Your New Life sessions, right? Uh, and then it just talks about the criteria that must take place for them to get credit. I don't know, I don't know any other brokers that's offering CE credit. And, you know, multiple times a year. At over, I would say over 40 times a year, our agents can get an hour of CE credit. Who else doing that? I don't know. All right. So, um, also, and if you're one of those agents and you're with a broker and you're not getting CE credit and you're not getting the things that we talked about or that we offer, you're not getting that one-on-one -on -one coach. You're not getting inspired. You're not a part of an empowering environment. Hit the link. Let's sit down and talk about it, right? Let's, we can do it online. We can do it in person. Let's talk about it. You tell me a little bit about you. I tell you a little bit about me. We see if it makes sense. I know it's going to make sense. I just got to see if you see that it's going to make sense. Come on into this environment. Come, in, come join our family. And watch how your business takes off, your life takes off. See, so for me, it's not, I'm I'm more than a real estate or business coach. I'm a quality of life coach. What is the quality of life that you want? And then I'm going to help you get there. That's what it's about. So click the link, schedule an online, in person company introduction, and then look, troll us. You know, a lot of people don't like to be trolled. We do though. Troll us. Go to our, go to our uh, YouTube channel. See what we what we doing, right? Go check us out on Facebook. Check us out. Check me out on LinkedIn and Instagram. See what I'm up to. See what I'm doing, right? Because I believe through my social media strategy, if you spend enough time trolling me, you're gonna be uh, clicking that link and wanting to talk to me. So I'm just drawing you in. Come on, come on. Let me draw you in. To the other side, to the good life. So yes, go to those areas, go to those social media platforms, um, and check us out. Check me out. All right. So with that being said, that's all I have. Uh, I do have in studio, Margaret. Margaret, do you have any questions for the people? Come on, I have Margaret. no questions for the people. I have no questions for the people. She decided to come but... in office. Um, I'm trying to, to get the stuff together and I'm trying not to overthink it. So just while you were wrapping up, I sent a post out over something that I saved because I thought was interesting and I was going to put it together with something later. Yep. But you just went and sent it. Yeah. And usually life happens. So I probably would have never posted it. that. It would just sit there in my phone. Would you like to share with us? Okay, sure. See? Execute, 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 execute. Don't overthink, execute. Um, now, um, I'm in La La Land when it comes to <laughs> Facebook. So I was on Twitter on and Twitter. I saw this really cute video of these brothers fighting. Okay. One pushing the other. Can I see? And it reminded me of a situation with buyers and sellers. <laughs> So it's called Little Bro Rage. So I posted that to my Facebook page saying Little Bro Rage with a question mark. And I had a similar situation like this a few months ago. So I just posted that. So I thought it was cute. And I hashtagged that realtor life. See? Just that easy. And how long did it take you? Forever? It took you like hours? No, it took me... um. Three minutes? Three minutes. And wow. That's, that's because I was trying to figure out how to share to Facebook. But <laughs> well, I'm she sure figured I did it out. that. Yeah. But the reality is, while she was sitting here, while we were discussing this, being in the right environment, yeah. having the right level of inspiration, got her to take action. And, and how do we get our results? We get our results through our actions. 
right? And then guess what drives our actions? I, I, I'm supposed to pull from the treasure chest of a social of a certified, proven social media guru. Take advantage of the breakdown, get exposed to it, and then begin to implement and execute it for you. With that being said, no, we are gone. We are out of here today. We had a great, great session. Great information was delivered uh, to us. Um, we looked at a couple of other great ways to showcase what you're passionate about, what inspires you through text, text posts, graphic quotes. Right? We also looked at our core ideology, why you, if you're going to put your signature on it, it's got to be your best. Right? We talked about that. We got an upcoming event. Learn how to continue to get paid if you get sick or if you get hurt. Such as realtors. Anything can happen to us. Many of us don't have insurance, medical insurance. So if you got if you get paid, you get hurt, you get sick, come learn about it. No pressure, you ain't gotta sign up for nothing. But at least get educated. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Come get the knowledge. All right, and then we showed you a great software that our agents are able to use to help them flesh out the mechanical side of this business that they implement on a daily basis. I am Michael G. Davis, broker, CEO, realtor plus business, uh -uh, quality of life coach. Want to be here to help you out. Looking forward to coaching you into the cosmos. This it's time to take real. off, baby. Y'all have a great week. Be talking to you real soon. Real soon. Really, 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 really soon. Y'all have a good one.